Hello everyone, I'm Isabel Kong, the author and illustrator of the picture book No Fuzzball by Orchard Book Scholastic. This book is about a sassy, majestic, and attention-seeking black cat named Fuzzball. She is the queen of the house and is accustomed to a high level of worship by her subjects. <clears throat> I mean family. Just hear how they scream her name everywhere she goes. No Fuzzball, no Fuzzball, no Fuzzball! Her Royal Highness is accustomed to a lavished and pampered lifestyle in her queendom, but when her subjects leave for the weekend, she questions whether she should be a more benevolent ruler. What will she do to win them back? You have to read the book to find out. I can't wait for you to meet and read about my queen. I mean, just look at her. Isn't she beautiful? And look at her royal coat. It's so shiny, soft, and fuzzy. Do you want to learn how to draw your very own Queen No Fuzzball? Yeah? Okay. Well, let me set up my camera and you should grab some art supplies. All you need is pieces of paper or a sketchbook, and you'll need a little eraser, a pencil, and if you have it, a black color pencil. And I'll meet you at my drawing table. Okay. With everything ready, I'm gonna start. I usually like to do some guidelines with a flat oval as her head and a rounder circle as her body. And don't worry, you're drawing these so light that it won't even show up at the end, but it's super helpful. And in that middle of that flat oval, I'm gonna draw two more ovals, one on the left for her left eye, and then one on the right for her right eye. And in the middle of that, I'm gonna draw two round circles and I'm gonna hug the top of the oval because she's looking up. And then in the middle of her eyes, I'm gonna draw an upside down triangle. Look at that, it's her little nose. And then a little dash underneath of that and a sideways number three for her little lips. And underneath of that, two more upside down triangles for her teeth. And then on top of her eyes, I'm going to do flick up and draw these little lines curving slightly to show her whiskers. And also longer versions on top of her lift for more whiskers because she has to sense the world. And with the lovely guidelines we already have, I know exactly where her top of her head is, a little bit shorter. I'm going to start doing little these dashing lines to show off the fur on the top of her head. And then around the edge of the eye, I'm gonna draw two upside down triangles for her ears. And then I'm gonna continue with those guidelines on the side of her face. You can do a little bit of a zigzag line and then it hugs in a little bit around her neck, but then it fans back out for her nice chunky body. Again, you can do a little bit zigzag lines longer fur along her body. And then I'm gonna draw a big long line for the ground that she's sitting in. And in the middle of that circle, small dark dashes for her chest hair, two long lines for her left arm, and then one more for her right because they're together because she's so proper, and some alphabet C's to finish up her paw. And then a reverse set of C's, three of them, for her right paw. And we gotta finish up her tail here and it can curl up, curl down, poof up to the side, on the other side, that's all up to you. And what is she looking at? Of course, we can't miss her crown. She is the queen after all. Thanks for watching, hope you like it.